Okay, K2 PMD here uh, in the shack, getting ready for uh, CQ Worldwide Ready this weekend. Coming up, going to be lots of fun. I was a, a radio teletype operator, 05 Charlie, then 31 Charlie, uh, in the U.S. Army uh, over in West Germany. It was a lot of fun. And, of course, I love Ready um, amateur style. But you know what? I used to have, and I still have, lots of problems uh, getting things set up. I used to have an ICOM 7300 figured that out, but I like the new Yesu 710, uh, FT710. And so I've got a real easy peasy setup for ready. Get you ready for this weekend's contest. If you have the FT17 and this doesn't work, I will pull my hair out and try to help you with it. But watch this video and you'll be able to get it working well before 000 on Saturday morning UTC. K2 PMD, stand by and I'll go step by step through the configuration. Okay, K2 PMD back here. Uh, we're looking at the uh, the shack here. Here's the setup a bit there, not too uh, fancy schmancy, but uh, it works for me. Got uh, power supplies down there and backups and all that stuff. But let's take a look at the radio real quick because uh, the radio is the first place we want to start. I'm on 10 meters pushing five watts um, and I got another radio here the uh, IC705 uh, just to show you that it's gonna work okay uh, so let's go here first thing I want you to notice and I hope you can see this boy it is not really good uh, I am on data upper sideband data upper sideband and that uh, if you are not in data upper sideband uh, for all, for all bands, no matter what band you're working on, the radio needs to be in data upper sideband. Okay, I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. So um, let's go now to uh, our uh, settings here, right to the function button, and we're going to go to radio settings right there, and we're going to go to ready, and then we're going to look at ready. And we're going to look everything here. Just get those zero, zero, zero from the top to the bottom. Okay, nothing changes here. Nothing changes here. Nothing changes here. Okay, USB out levels 50, rear out. Check this out right here. This is important. RTS, RPTT select RTS. Okay, that's what it's got to be set on. RTS. Okay, then your uh, polarity is normal. Your shift frequency is 170, and of course your mark is 2125. That's all you need to do on the radio, okay? I'm going to take a break here and have a little bit of dinner, and I'll come right back uh, in two seconds to show you how to hook up uh, the rest of the software to get this running. K2 PMD, stand by. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta back here in the shack. So we're doing the, the CQ Worldwide Ready contest this weekend with the Yesu FT710. We've already set up the Yesu's uh, settings for Ready. Now we're going to go over to NCQ WWDX Ready contest for N3JFP, right? That is the logger I'm using. First thing that's going to pop up is your um information you want to put all that in there you got to put all that in there and hit done and if you didn't uh, do that you can just go right back up to set up here right and that'll pop that guy back up there and you can fill it all out but you got to fill all that out okay the next thing you're going to do really simple is you're going to go down to rig interface okay rig interface is going to open up and uh, for the Yesu FT710, you're going to use Yesu Newer for the rig. Select rig, Yesu Newer. I've got uh, COM ports 7 and 5. And let's go here. I know some of you have problems with understanding COM ports. You see the little thing here? Uh, the Windows symbol there? I'm going to right click on that. And it's going to open up. And I'm going to go to my device manager right over here, right? That's going to pop up on my other screen again. And I'm going to go to my ports. And I'm going to see that I have my two ports here. I'm going to say this again like I said in some other videos. 
The enhanced COM port is the port for rig control. So if we're working on rig control right now, we're going to be using port 7. I don't know what yours says, but it's going to be the enhanced COM port. Later on, we're going to use the standard COM port, COM 5, when we get to FL Digi, because that is the push to talk COM port. Enhanced COM ports for rig control, and standard COM port 5 is going to be for uh, push to talk for RIDI. Okay, so here we are. I've got COM port 7 for rig control. It's 38.4, 38,400 is my baud rate that I set on my radio. Uh, it's pretty standard for Yesus. You can use others, but I just used a standard. Parity is none, data bits is eight, stop bits is one, RTS, right? RTS, we, pr we pick that in the radio. So that's how it's connecting to the power. And then the mode is determined by rig. That's all you have to do. I can test this out now, right? It's running the test. It's looking. It says, yeah, I think it's on, what, 28085? And that's correct. That's correct. All right. So that's all that is. That's all you have to do for rig control with N3JFP. And the amazing thing about this is that this is all ready uh, to do your logging. I mean, it's just, you don't even really, I wouldn't say you don't need to know the rules, but when you have the software set up correctly, uh, you really almost don't need to know the rules. I want you to look down here, it says band. It's on digital, right? It says digital. It has the uh, uh, 085 there. It's got my uh, zone, my CQ zone, uh, my uh, state already there. I haven't made any contacts. It'll keep my score statistics. And as you'll see in a little bit, um, we'll be populating recent contacts here. So that is everything for rig control. Uh, when I come back in just a second, we're going to be looking at FL Digi and the setup for FL Digi. K2 PMD. Okay, K2 PMD is back again. We're going to FL Digi. I've got the latest version set up here, 4.205. You can go to SoundForge to pick up that software if you don't have it. And we're going to show you, uh, once this opens up, how it's set up. Now, I've already got it set up, so guess what? It's going to connect to the NFJP logger. It's already on 2085. Now, look here. Here's the offset. Uh, you know, by uh, uh, one uh, one point five or so, right? Uh, so that's the frequency we're going to listen on twenty eight oh six, because that's really what we're going out on, right? So uh, let's look at the configuration here. Uh, we'll go to configure dialog. We're going to look at uh, our operator station. Get all that information in here, right? Uh, close that up. We're going to look at logging. And uh, we're going to look at NF3 job, right? It's going to say connected because I put the uh, uh, the API to go to to uh, uh, to wherever it wants to go to, right? So it's out of there, there, there. I don't know, I don't know all the technical language there, right? All these things should be checked below. Enable data stream, PTT versus rig, uh, center, report actual modem, RF frequency. You see that? Yeah, so that's the actual modem frequency there, right? 2806.6. Okay, and if it's not connected, you connect, hit connect, boom, it connects. Very good. All right, so that's that there. We can close that out. So we have our, our logger connected to FL Digi. Let's go to, to rig control and see what's happening here. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, Hamlib, Hamlib, and I'm going to pick Yesu FT10 stable, right? That's my selector. I'm not going to press use Hamlib, but I'm going to put device COM5. Remember that? COM5, uh, because this is the push to talk. 38400. Stop bits is 8, polling interval is 250, I don't really know all about that. Push to talk via Hamlib command. Okay, nothing else. Rig mode over here, sideband. K2 
Okay, we can hit save there. All right, and then uh, I think that might be it. Let me just make sure. Uh, contests, I think it might be already set up for contests. Yeah, let's go over here. Contests, right? CQWWDX ready. Uh, no state, because not accused of a party. These are the capture orders. Uh, it will dupe color in purple. It will question if it's a dupe, because if you go on different bands, you want band mode, uh, and you want this on off. On, I'm sorry, on. Okay, so that's it. We'll save that there as well. Okay, that's all you need to do. Let's see, sound card, sound card. Yeah, so let's look at devices. Those should match up. USB audio device, USB audio device. That's all you got to press there. Make sure that says port audio, right? It's going to the port of the um, COM port 5. And so that is everything you need to do here. I want you to recognize that this guy right under the frequency here needs to be on packet USB, packet USB. You remember I said it's always going to be USB digital, USB data on the uh, on the rig. Let's see if we can get in there. Sorry for the shaky camera. Data U, right? Data. So that's packet USB over there. Okay, when we put the frequency in there, it'll put the offset right there. And down below, right down here, it says ready, right? Because you've chosen ready 45, right? And so it's showing you ready 45, 45, 170. That's the offset there. And everything else is normal down there. Okay, so here we are. We're going to look over here at the, uh, uh, we're all set here. I'm going to get out of here. Go back to the menu and go to decode. All right, so check this out. Check out how easy this is. I'm going to call CQ. Uh, let's clear this out here. All right, and here I'm going to hit CQ. And then you hear the wonderful witty sounds. Look what's happening over here. Whoa. Beautiful signal. It's really loud, obviously. Pushing five watts there. But yeah, look at that. We know it works because we can hear it. Now, what happens if I go to my transmit memory here? And I don't think this is tuned up, but I put this phony IX123 guy here. I'm going to go over here and see that I'm receiving. And if I put my mouse over here, guess what? It just put IX123 into the call sign. And also IX123, it's thinking it's Italy and I've got a new country. And if it's true, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I could just hit uh, log. Oh, let's see, what, what else do I have to do to get this to log? I don't know, probably put a name in there or something. Country receives sent Italy, right? I thought maybe I'd have to put a name in somewhere, but I guess not. Uh, so what do I do to hit enter? That's the only thing I don't know how to do. I guess I, I just got to be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It just logged it. How cool is that? I guess I better delete that before the contest starts. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> that's the easy peasy FL Digi with N3FJP and the Yesu FT710 um, ready setup. Uh, I mean, this is too easy. I, I almost feel like I'm going to write out all these steps and put them in somewhere so that you could have them. But when I have the time, I'll do that. For now, I hope watching the video, you got all the uh, that you needed uh, to get ready for this weekend's uh, ready contest. And uh, we'll be seeing you uh, hopefully on the air. Hopefully, I'll get you uh, as part of my... Uh, I'm just going to be doing... Uh, what they call it, what, uh, search and pounce or hunt and pounce. Uh, I'm not going to be calling CQ. I only have about uh, a little a little wire antenna in the backyard of my tiny house. So uh, wonderful to be with you again today. It's been a while since I put a video out, but 
Uh, just so happy that I uh, got this up and running. I know that there are people out there who would like to do the same. So this is K2PMD saying 7-3 until next time. Catch you down on the log.